With all that's been going on with social distancing, shelter in place, and staying at home, whatever you want to call it, it's our duty to flatten the curve by slowing the spread of the coronavirus, aka COVID-19. I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. It's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it? It's really messing up. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. I just turned 21 this year, so I'm here to party and trying to get drunk before everything closes. Please limit your in-person interactions. Now that we got that out of the way, I want to share you my experiences and reassure you that you're not the only one that's struggling during these uncertain times. For me, working from home, it meant that I had to convince myself that it was time to work. And not surprisingly, it wasn't easy. Here's a glimpse of what my day looked like working from home without any structure. I wouldn't wake up at a reasonable time and sometimes I would snooze for two hours. When I did get up, I groggily went to my laptop, I was still tired, and I couldn't focus. Once the day started rolling by, I'd start to sit around too much and I would get distracted with Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and of course YouTube. Right now, I'm watching Star Wars Clone Wars on Disney Plus and I highly recommend it. After a week of doing that, I started to realize I was really unproductive. I started to go crazy not hanging out with the people I typically hang out with. To top it off, there was so much sad news about COVID-19 from the news, from social media, from even my family and friends telling me all these updates. I couldn't really take it. I started to feel very unmotivated to work. What I've learned is that as a society, the best thing that we can do besides social distancing is to treat each day like business as usual. Well, as much as possible. One of the tips that has resonated with me the most is from a friend who's been working from home for five years. His tip was to treat each morning like you were about to go to the office. So I tried it out. It's 8 a.m. right now, but I'm gonna go get ready and make some coffee to slowly wake up to start the day. So I woke up, got ready, changed, made some coffee, and it feels nice that I get to wake up early and start the day productively. So yeah, I'm excited to get to work and we'll see how much I get done. At around 11.30 a.m., I would do a quick 30 minute workout. You can check out 24Go, which is an app from 24 Hour Fitness, and it works with your membership. Or you can check out the Nike Training Club app, which is free for everybody. One tip that I use and I would highly recommend is to Chromecast your mobile phone to your TV so that you and your housemates can work out together, see it in a bigger screen, and hear the instructions way better.
I just worked out, showered, and had lunch, and I feel energized. I'm ready to go back to work, so I'll work a little bit in the afternoon until I'm ready to take a break. I would try to take a break at around 3 p.m. for a headspace meditation session. Or I would step out outside in my backyard for some sunlight and fresh air. This allows me to split my afternoon into two parts and it allows me to clear my head. By 5 p.m. I may switch to another task that I have to do for the day right before dinner time. By the time dinner rolls around, I call it a day and I start to relax. I'll eat my dinner, then chat with my friends or family, or watch a show or movie, and I'll make sure I don't work too much in the evening so I don't burn out. But I'll admit that there are days when I go back to my workstation to work a little bit more. There's a difference between I should go back to work versus I get to go back to work. I'm guilty of staying up late knowing that I won't have to wake up early to commute to work and I'm still working on it. But I believe that following a sleep schedule that allows you to wake up the next day well rested is the best thing that you can do to set yourself up for the next day. I'll admit that it's very hard to stick with the regimen, but when I personally follow it, I feel more productive. Don't forget that this is a perfect time while we're staying at home for you to do whatever you want. So besides work, do the things that energize you for the daytime and relaxes you for the nighttime. One thing I'll modify personally from my own experience is to change out of my PJs, but into more comfortable outside clothes. Personally, I'll still have that mindset ready to work, but I will be a little bit more comfortable doing it. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got something from my experience that you can use while you're staying at home. My days are most likely different than yours, so find a schedule and regimen that works for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I almost forgot one more thing. I will put all the information about the resources and the apps that I use down in the description for my YouTube video. Go check it out and enjoy. Thanks.